Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. And today for my lunch, I have made a macaroni and cheese and tuna casserole. It is so good. I put a Ritz cracker topping on it, baked in the oven. So while I enjoy my casserole with my glass of tea, sit back and let me show you how I made this, okay? I'll be right back with you. Today, I am going to show you how I make macaroni and cheese with tuna casserole. It's simple. All you need is a box of macaroni and cheese. You need a can of cream of mushroom soup, and you need some tuna. It's that simple. When my boys were young, their grandmother made it for them, and they fell in love with it as they got bigger, they learned to make it themselves. And uh, so they would cook the noodles, stir it together, and eat it straight. But we're going to add a little more to it today. I've boiled my macaroni noodles, and now I'm going to go drain them. Don't rinse them. We're just going to drain them. And it is going to be so, so good. Now I'm going to put it back in this same pot we're going to put it back in the same pot now while we're putting this together i'm going to melt a little bit of butter because i need some butter for the topping we're going to put on this and we're going to set the oven i'm going to turn it on to three 50 and we're going to let that be preheating while we're mixing this together it is so simple i think you can see what i'm doing here let's scoot that back just a little bit okay so to this pot i'm going to add some butter i'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of butter and I'm going to add this cream of mushroom soup. You can use cream of chicken soup. I've made it with that. You can use cream of celery. I've done that as well. Now, I want to say, if you're not a tuna lover, use chicken. That would be good. Use cream of chicken soup and use chicken instead of tuna you want the cheese packet we all know that dried cheese from our childhood right let's put that in there let's stir it up mix it up real good and we want that butter to melt oh yeah i haven't had this in so long and i was thinking about it the other day and i thought i want to make that but i want to make it with my friends, my food and family, friends and family. So, oh, that's looking so good. And that butter is almost melted, it's hot. I have small cans of tuna today. I would use a large can, and if you don't have a large can, use two small cans like I have here. It would just plop it right in. That's fancy, plopping it. How about that? And I drained it, I opened it, and I drained it over the sink. You don't have to put it in a strainer. I just hold the lid down and drain it. Mix it up. Stir that tuna so into it. That's it. it. Well, so far. Look. See that? Now, I am going to... Put this in my baking dish. I'm just going to pour it right in here. Let's spread that out. It's almost done. Now, my boys would stop there and that's where they would start eating. But we're not. I've got a sleeve of Ritz crackers. And I was thinking about something else too. 
to go in that. And I think if you wanted to, you could probably add a can of diced green chilies, especially if you use chicken. Add a dice of a can of diced green chilies. Yeah, I'm sorry. I usually can get these crackers crushed right up. I'm sorry if I'm making too much noise. All right, so scoop them up and put them back in there. My hands are clean. My board's clean. We're just going to crush them up. They don't have to be like fine breadcrumbs. You just want them crushed. Because what we're going to do now, and these are a buttery cracker, but you know I cannot leave well enough alone. I am going to add some more butter. That was so hot, I didn't even have to turn it back on and add it to these crackers. Stir them up. And now we're going to sprinkle these on top of the noodles and the tuna. And I am going to put this in the oven and bake it at 350, probably 10, 15 minutes. Just make sure everything's hot. And uh, it'll kind of toast those crackers up just a little bit. Can you see that? All right, so let me get this in the oven as soon as it gets heated up. And I'll be back with you when I take this out and show you what it looks like. Okay, and then we're going to try it. I just took this out of the oven. It smells so good. The crackers have gotten golden and it's bubbly inside. I know it's hot, but I want to dip up a little bit and show you what it looks like inside. Ooh, well, I can't wait to get into this, y'all. Look. Can you see in there? Look at that. That is going to be so delicious. My boys would love this. If they were here now, they would be into it with me. I know they would. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's just as good as I remember it being. I hope you'll try this recipe. It's simple. A lot of you may have made it, and some of you may not. But I wanted to share it with you. And if you've never made it, and you like tuna, give it a try. Again, if you don't like tuna, try it with chicken. It'll still be delicious. Thanks, everybody, for joining me today. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye.